Would you give your life to Jesus today? Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you, for real? What do you think happens after we die? Um... Go to heaven or hell, I don't know. Okay, so if heaven and hell is real, do you think you're good enough to make it to heaven? Probably not. Okay, oh, that's sure. pretty honest of you. Why do you say that? I don't talk to people a lot about, you know, godly stuff. Okay. I do post things that sometimes, but I also do things at the same time that aren't very godly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I want to share with you something that changed my life forever. And I'm just going to pass it to you and you tell me what you think. All right. But I have to tell you the bad news first, and I'll tell you the good news after. So I'm not judging you, this is for you to judge yourself. How many lies have you told in your life? <sighs> A lot. <laughs> yeah. So what do you call someone that tells lies? A liar? Have you ever stolen anything? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you call someone that steals? Well, like a thief. Okay, two more. Have you ever used God's name as a cuss word? Like, God, D, I swear to G-O-D, you know? Mm hmm Yeah, I used to say it all the time. And I never realized I was, I was disrespecting the one that gave me my life, gave me my whole family, you know? All right, last one. Jesus said that if you look at a woman and you lust after her, which means to have sexual thoughts for her. You mm -hmm. commit adultery in your heart. It's like you're cheating. Have you ever mm -hmm. looked at another person with lust? I found them attractive, but like not in that way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. You can, you know, someone could be attractive, but when you take it to the other level where it's like sexual fantasies and things like that, pornography, right? That's lust. Mm -hmm. Okay. So based on this standard, these are only four out of the 10 commandments. Would you be innocent or guilty if God were to judge you? Guilty. Okay, yeah. I'm guilty, you're guilty, everyone is, because no one is perfect, right? So if we're guilty, do we deserve a reward or a punishment? Punishment. punishment. Does that sound like heaven or hell? Hell. Okay, now if that is true, does that concern you at all that you would end up in hell if you were to die? Yes, probably. Yeah, I don't even know you, but I love you as human beings. I would want to, I'd love to see you go to heaven, right? So now I'm gonna give you the good news. And this is the life changing part. Or maybe you know, God did something for us so we didn't have to go to hell because He loves us so much. Do you know what He did? He died on the cross. That was His son, right? Oh, he, he, <laughs> we, he sent, he, he, Jesus. He sent Jesus, Jesus yeah. He sent Jesus. Why Jesus? Because he was the one that was perfect. And because he was perfect, he was able to take the punishment for you and me by dying on the cross. And then God raised him from the dead in three days. Have you heard of that before? Mm -hmm. Yes. So think of it like this. If you're speeding down the street and the cops catch you, now you're guilty and you have to pay your speeding ticket to the judge, right? But if you don't have enough money to pay that judge, he's gonna send you to jail because that's your punishment. But someone that loves you can come into the courtroom and pay that fine for you and the judge can let you free. Like, oh, you have a bunch of sp uh, speeding fines, but that person paid for you, you're free to go. And that's what Jesus did, he paid for our fines. And to receive that gift, the Bible says we need to believe that Jesus is Lord in our lives and believe that God raised them from the dead. And of course, we have to turn away from our sins and be sorry for them. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not the things that we do that get us into heaven. It's our faith mm -hmm. in Jesus. It's God's mercy upon us. Hopefully this makes sense. <laughs> yes, my cousin has a question. Yeah, what's up? She said, you know how um, people say to spread the gospel on TikTok? Uh-huh. Mm. Are we supposed to do it or are they just getting never used? 
So, okay, I think I know what you're talking about. I share the gospel on TikTok, but I see certain people, they say, you have to share the gospel or else you're not going to heaven. Do it now. Is that what you're talking about? Those people? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not the best way to do it because that's not biblical. You don't go to heaven because you shared the gospel. You go to heaven because of your faith in Jesus. And I'm already saved. Now I want to help other people. Naturally, I'm going to go on TikTok and share it, you know? I'm going to go on this website and share it. Not because I have to, but because I want to. And I want to help others, right? Yeah. Do you use TikTok? I'm guessing. Yes. <laughs> if you want to check it out. I make music and I do videos and stuff. And that's fine. So then the question would be, the last question, which is, this is for you to ask yourselves. Would you give your life to Jesus today? Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you, for real? How about this? I could pray for you, and I could lead you to, to accept Jesus. Would you like that? Yeah. Amazing. So this is called, or this, this is the verse in Romans 10, 9. It's one of the books in the Bible. It says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved which means you will be saved from the hell that we all deserve because of your faith in jesus does that make sense yeah. okay so this is what i'm gonna do i'll do a simple prayer and you can just follow me and this is your belief it's not the words but it's that you actually believe this right that gets you saved heavenly father heavenly father <laughs> i'm sorry for all the sins i've done I'm sorry for all the sins I've done. And I now declare Jesus as my Lord. And I now declare Jesus as my Lord. And I believe that God raised him from the dead. And I believe that God raised him from the dead. For my sins. For my sins. Give me your Holy Spirit. Give me your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's amazing. If you truly believe that, that means you're saved. You're going to heaven when you die. Heavenly Father, I pray for Sasha, Bella, and... Syra. Syra. I thank you for their lives, and I pray that you just turn their lives away from the darkness and bring them to the light, that they continue to trust in Jesus as their Lord, and that they get closer to you. You bring them peace and bring them wisdom, and you make their path straight. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. That's amazing. You know, the Bible says when people come to Christ that the angels in heaven, they rejoice. They're, they're happy that someone actually turned away from the world of the darkness. So now let me ask you, where are you going to go after you die? Why? Because she said what? because she believes in Jesus. What, what do you believe about Jesus? That he, that he died on the cross for my sins and rose three days. And, and rose three days after he died. Exactly. Amen. That's the perfect answer. Because Jesus took 100% of the hell that we deserve, right? So that means we do not have to... We don't have, we don't have to take that punishment because Jesus did it, right? Wow, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, you just made my day. You're like the first three people I spoke to today. And um, not everyone accepts Jesus. So now that you've accepted Jesus, do you have a Bible? Yeah. Do you? Good. So this is where you would start the Bible, the book of John. And let me ask you, how often should you read the Bible? Every, every day. Every day. Because it's our food. It's our spiritual food. We, we eat every day because our body needs food, right? But our spirit is hungry for, for the, um, the word, which is the Bible. So every day, yeah. Even, even a little bit. You don't got to read five hours a day, but just a little bit every day, right? It's the best decision you ever make. And also another thing, start praying, right? I'm not sure if you already pray, but prayer is directly talking to God. Well, it was good talking to you. Um, God bless you. God bless you too.
deserves right.